testimony featuring Jay-Z. Uh, there's um, one more little comment I want to make. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, last few songs there that I'm going to talk about are Flux Capacitor and Universal Soldier and the, the, the final concluding track. Flux Capacitor and Universal Soldier are so sick. Yeah, I actually believe that on, on Flux Capacitor, uh, Jay-Z got him again. He, he, I believe he out-rapped um, Jay Electronica, and I, but I, th I appreciate it because Jay Electronica does a little bit of a, a cut ranks rendition there, limb by limb, we are going to cut them down, send for the axa. And Jay Electronica has a soft side. He has a playful side. He has a lot of different flows and flavors. It's not all um, Prophet Elijah Muhammad and history and um and spirituality and science fiction he has a side where he he gets a little bit loose uh such as the one track there called uh fruits of the spirit i believe or is it ezekiel's wheel where ezekiel's wheel where he's like i'm down to catch a body you're going to get that wasabi and he talks about riding motorcycles and that's cool you know we want to see that side of an mc we want to see versatility um so I think this album is very important just because of how deep and spiritual these guys get as well as being confident about paying homage to ancestors in a lot of different ways. There's a cool line where Jay Electronica says, the, the, the prayers of the slaves are the wings that carry us. Woof. And <coughs> my favorite Jay Electronica lyric probably is from Exhibit A where he says, I, bl I, uh, I blaze trails like Nat and Harriet. Bl I blast on Judas Iscariot and peel off in the chariot. Uh, you know, he just paying homage to Nat Turner and Harriet Tubman, and, and, and he still does that. And um, yeah, I think that's really important. This is this is what grown men need to be conscious of: is where we're moving forward in terms of our spirituality, because that's something that requires someone to be in tune with themselves and in tune with what they think and spirituality as far as I think about it and when I listen to these kind of raps you always have to be working on it what do you believe what do you value um, what do you understand what do you not understand I'm gonna leave you with a couple bars Jay-Z has uh, named his son Rumi uh, and I got a, a book here this book actually is my wife's book uh, she is Iranian. This is the essential Rumi. I've never read it. Uh, I'll probably start flipping through it. The poems are quite long, so that gives me a chance to really challenge myself. But this is something I thought is kind of cool. Uh, it says uh, this is um, a passage from the Tao Te Ching, chapter sorry, passage 43. The softest thing in the universe overcomes the hardest thing in the universe that without substance can enter where there is no room hence i know the value of non-action teaching without words and work without doing are understood by very few the first line there the softest thing in the universe overcomes the hardest thing in the universe the way i connect that with this album is that these these two guys are being themselves they're being themselves because I think as hip hop progresses, a lot of artists, young people especially, are forced to play a role and to look a certain way. And they gotta work at cultivating their image. Look at Takashi 69 He had such a well cultivated image and it was supported by all his action on online. And it ended up a huge mess. But if you can be yourself, and be soft meaning effortless i guess that's how i interpret that things can be even much more meaningful such as this album which is very very meaningful so thank you jay electronica thank you jay-z for putting out a written testament thank you for listening this has been grown man rap talk uh my name is joseph aka dj spin so nice please subscribe and uh, check out more videos. Take care. Thank you. Peace.